Audi A3 with a DPF, pressure sensor, glow plug, and a chem crank fault. Gonna check the faults. Here's the DPF, back probe, then the signal wire. Applying a little bit of pressure, a couple of PSI. Looking for a change on the sensor, and I'm getting it. Before it was stuck at 0 0.6 volts all the time with the old sensor. So I know this one's okay. You can also unplug it and see the voltage go up to 5 volts when you unplug there. This is the glow plug test. Got the test light connected to the back of the alternator to use the battery power. So anytime I touch the test light on ground it should light. I'm going to touch the top of the glow plug that's down that hole. So the top of that. When I touch the top of the glow plug, in this case, that's a good one down there, so the test light lights. But the glow plug that was faulty that's in my hand, the same test, it's not going to light because the glow plug is blown. So I'm making a circuit with the test light just to show you. Touch the body of the test light to the ground. And it doesn't light the test light. If I touch the test light to the ground, it lights. This one was set in the cam crank correlation by putting the bottom pulley onto TDC. That is a small indent down there in line with the pulley, the mark on the pulley. You don't really see it on the camera. But the top cover comes off and you can just adjust the cam with the three bolts until you fit the pin in. Then it's just a case of resetting the fault codes. I'm going to test in the car and make sure it's all okay. And it was. In this case, all the fault codes were actually faulty things, like the faulty glow plug. And it was a faulty DPF pressure sensor, but I still like to check them just to be sure. Just thought I'd do a very quick video showing you what I do and how I do it. Thanks for watching.